Our shoulder is made up of three individual bones. And often when we've used our shoulders for one primary job, like typing at the computer, we need to start remembering what the dynamic movements of our shoulder are. So we have our clavicle, our arm bone, and the little chicken wing on the back of our body. And today's mobility is gonna focus on that chicken wing in the back, making sure that it can move freely so all those tight spaces that you normally want somebody to rub out for you are nice and relaxed. So we're gonna use a door jam for this activity today. Up against this door jam, we're gonna get our body, our toes right up to the door, and we're gonna stretch our hand out. Without moving our chest, we're gonna press our fingertips away and let them slowly slide back. So we slide out and slowly back in. As we slide out, we should feel this chicken wing on the back of our body pressing away from our spine. And as our hand comes back towards our body, that chicken wing pulls back towards our spine. Fingers away, scapula presses away from your spine. Fingers in, scapula moves towards your spine. We really wanna emphasize gently within our own capacity these end ranges. So really pulling your shoulder in and pressing it all the way out, reaching further than those fingertips can touch and bringing it back in. Now we can do this motion also in another plane or another vector. So we can get our hand up against this door jam, keeping our body nice and close to the door jam as comfortable for you, so you may be a few inches away, you might be right up against your door, and you're just gonna slide those fingertips up towards the ceiling and back down without distorting or changing your back. So fingertips slide up and gently back down. Up and pulling that chicken wing or that scapula into your back pocket, sliding it up and away and back down to experience the full dynamic range of motion that your scapula has through the back of your body.